I don't even know what purity means, but you also said men want virgins. That's my real point of contention. Yeah. This idea that men want virgins, maybe if you're a religious nutbag mm -hmm. and you and and if you have sex before marriage, you'll offend Jesus yeah. because God doesn't want your you putting your pee pee into a woo woo before there's a ceremony. Mm -hmm. In Yiddish, they say no chupa, no shtupa. Chupa is the uh, the marriage thing that you stand under, and shtupa is to screw. Mm -hmm. There's not. This is the view of religious. Uh, this is like if you're a religious Catholic or Orthodox Jew, or God forbid, a, a, mm -hmm. a fundamental mon a, a fundamentalist. Islamist radical like a Taliban who will kill a woman if she's not a virgin uh, before she's married. This idea that men want virgins is completely nutty. Where you're drawing it from, I don't know. Where yeah. are you getting that from? Um, you know, you know what's funny? I'm sorry. It's kind of interesting because I don't know. The last couple of months, my view, my views have evolved a little bit. So, so I, I know I, I don't mean to like, like switch up. I'm not doing this just because you're here. But the last couple of months, because I do think I came from a bit of like a religious worldview. And, and some of that's kind of crashed the last couple of months, to be honest, Good. because Good. it just doesn't line up. Um, I mean, I think men want in general women that are more pure rather than a whore, I would say. I, I, you know, it's like most guys don't want to date a chick with only fans. Most guys don't want well, to date it, you know. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. But OnlyFans, how big a slice of the pop female population are OnlyFans women? Now, it may be true that there are more OnlyFans girls than there are teachers, which is a set. I don't know that's true. It sounds right. When yeah. you say that, you're yeah. probably right. Mm -hmm. But how big of a slice of the female population are OnlyFans? Very small. So, right. again... You're using a straw man argument by looking in at a a distorted reading of an uh, of an inadequate sample. This is part of how you think. It's mm -hmm. part of the reason why you're here. I'm here mm -hmm. not to be anti pearl, but to be pro clear thinking mm -hmm. and to be pro clear science. So yes, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be with be with some prostitute yeah. or a porn star and all. But that's a very 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 small percentage. Now, you're right about another thing. Mm -hmm. You're right. I wouldn't want to be with someone who has a super high body count, mm -hmm. number one, because of the possibility of disease. In my case, that's not a problem because I always make sure a partner is tested. If a partner is not tested and mm -hmm. shows me the lab results and the current date, they don't get into my bed. Yeah. And the second yeah. thing is someone who has a high body count either is suffering a lot of serious trauma mm -hmm. or they... And, or the other way around, a high body count will prevent them from having the ability to properly pair bond. And I don't want someone like that, particularly at my age. I'm 65. I'm not looking mm -hmm. to do a bangerang. I went through those days when I just created speed seduction. I, I, my openness is to a life partner who doesn't want to sign that piece of paper. Right. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see that, but I don't know. The, you know, actually, I found, I found that virgins nowadays have such bad personalities that, sorry, this is, this is going to be anecdotal, so I'm sorry, but I found that virgins nowadays, it's like a lot of times they have nothing else. And so men like find that they come with other issues. Um, yeah. While you're changing your mind, and this, you're <laughs> opening yourself up to Rabbi Ross and saying you change your mind on divorce. You change your mind on this. Well, I think, you change well, I think, well, I think men want more pure women. Like, I, I don't I don't disagree with that. I think you don't think the ideal would be a virgin. I'm curious as to like, why? I am, I, I, no, <laughs> like, why would you why would bed. you want a guy like crappy, a girl? Hold on. Oh, God, 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 you asked me a question. Yeah, yeah, Please God. permit me to answer. Yeah, God. Virgins are crappy in bed. They don't know what they're doing. They sit there. Forgive me. I've been inadvertently with a few virgins. They sit mm. there. And this sounds horrible. They sit there, they lay there, they take it, and they bleed all over me. Mm -hmm. I don't want any part of it. Why, why? What value is there in being a virgin? Uh, maybe you're Catholic and believe in the Virgin Mary, but that's the only virgin I see. Mm -hmm. If I were Catholic, that has any value. What? What is the value? Now, I know the biblical thing. The biblical thing 
is that virgins had more inherent value because you knew that if you had a child mm -hmm. with that person, it wasn't someone else's child right. back in the day. And they were viewed as property. They were just viewed as worth a thousand goats instead of a hundred goats. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why from the perspective of any man. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not to say that some of my students haven't wanted that. You have to understand, I've seen the whole gamut, 30 mm -hmm. years, tens of thousands of guys teaching them how to have choice and power and selectivity with a woman. I've only had one student who really wanted a virgin. I'll never forget really? him. Really? Yeah. Wow. His name was Tom. Tom's good Catholic boy. He wanted to lose his virginity on his wedding night. Yeah. But he knew he had to date a lot of women to find someone who would make a good partner. Mm -hmm. So Tom, I taught him how to attract women and to have selectivity and choice. But I've only, again, this is anecdotal, but it's a huge sample. It's yeah. like tens of thousands of people. What Pearl, I asked you, mm -hmm. really, objectively, setting the biblical religious part aside, mm -hmm. what is the value in someone being a virgin? I guess I, I would say you you don't, I mean, like, how do I put it? Like, you don't want a girl that has exes to go back to, you know, but I guess maybe with social media, it kind of switches things a little bit. I'm um, confident enough in my ability to attract and hold a woman because mm -hmm. I know speed seduction. I'm confident enough that a woman is not going to go back to an ex because <laughs> I know how to evoke. I'm serious. I'm not yeah. joking. I know how to evoke those emotional states. I know how to give her the emotional states, the emotional highs, and the emotional lows that she's not going to find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. She may leave me because she feels that she's just unfulfilled, and people grow apart. Listen, I have a, a proclivity for dating much younger women. Mm -hmm. The last woman I dated uh, was 43 years younger. And some people may go, that's gross, that's sick. I say, no, that is a natural, natural male tendency to value beauty and youth. Don't say right. it on X. They'll tweet selfies. <laughs> well, I, I'm not on X. I don't like social media because I think social media is contributing to the destruction of Western civilization. We can get to that if you want to. Okay. But nonetheless, she outgrew me. Mm -hmm. She just, uh, after two or three years, she just became a different, a different person. Mm -hmm. Look, a person's brain isn't fully formed until they're 25. The person they are at 19, this is the danger of dating someone who's really younger. I, I do it because it's worth it to me. But the danger is their brain is going to mature. They're going to be a different person. This is also the problem with the notion of marriage lasting forever. The person you marry when you're 20, I don't think people should get married that young. They don't know their ass from their elbow. They're going to be a different person when they're yeah, 25 or when they they're are. 30. Yeah. Their, their view is going to grow. My sister, I'm not going to say which one, was very happily married for a long time. And then she said, you know, my vision of what I wanted our life to be like grew apart. I spoke to her husband, who, her ex-husband, who had nothing but great things to say about my sister. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, I, I'll always love your sister. She's an amazing woman. But our vision grew apart. I wanted more children. She didn't. People grow apart. So if you're going to go after younger women, I teach how to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, it's one of my favorite things that my guys like to learn. I also warn them of the dangers of doing it. So Pearl, you're right. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with you about virginity, but mm -hmm. you sure are right as rain when it comes to men want youth and men want beauty. Mm -hmm. Now, when you tell modern feminazis this, and I'm not a feminist, I said this at the very beginning, mm -hmm. here's where they're delusional. They don't want to believe it. They're insulted by hearing it. And you're right to stand up to it at the at the danger of being censored. Mm -hmm. I've seen this over and over and over again. This young woman who I dated, who was uh, 18 when I started dating her, her mother was in her 40s and said, I'm going to go have hot girl summer. When she had a 30-pound pot belly, she had a nose piercing. You don't have a nose piercing when you're in your 40s. Mm -hmm. So I get it. 